I'll say it again. Don't confuse movement with progress because you can run in place and not get anything done. So are you moving forward and who you're taking with you and how you made things better by the God given talent that you all have in whatever area it may be to write it, to direct it, to produce it, to cut it, to shoot it. You have a gift. It's called a gift. You didn't earn it. You were born with a gift. Now you own that gift. You develop that gift. You, 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 you do everything you need to do to protect it. And then you share it. Keep working. Keep striving. Never give up. Fall down seven times. Get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work. According to psychology, the biggest problem for overthinkers is that when they get too attached to someone, their entire mood depends on how the other person responds to them. They are so attuned to other people's emotions that they can notice the slightest change in someone's behavior. Learn to regulate your emotions. If you are being controlled by your own emotions, you will end up hurting either yourself or them in the end. When you let emotions control you, you risk causing pain to yourself and others. Develop emotional regulation by acknowledging feelings without acting on them. Practice mindfulness and challenge negative thoughts. Set healthy boundaries in relationships and make time for self-care. Seek support from friends or therapists for guidance. By managing emotions better, you'll foster healthier, more balanced connections. Psychology of love. If you love someone for their looks, it's obsession. If you love someone for their kindness, it's admiration. If you love someone for their money, it's interest. If you love someone because they love you, it's empathy. If you love someone despite their flaws, it's true acceptance. If you love someone through thick and thin, it's genuine commitment. If you love someone for their mind and intellect, it's intellectual attraction. If you love someone deeply, even when you're apart, it's emotional connection. If you love someone and prioritize their happiness over your own, it's selflessness. If you love someone for the way they make you laugh, it's humor based affection. If you love someone for the shared experiences and memories, it's nostalgia driven love. If you love someone because they understand you on a profound level, it's a deep emotional connection. If you love someone unconditionally flaws and all, it's pure unconditional love. If you're confused why you love this person, 